Hello YouTube, hello guys, you're welcome to another exciting day, you're welcome to my channel, you're welcome to YG Digital Watch, I remain your host, I'm Joseph. So guys, on today's tutorial video, I'll be walking you through on how to create a simple flyer design for a Thanksgiving service to be precise. So in creating this, I'll be making use of Photoshop 2023. Please and please, if you're new to the channel and you're yet to subscribe, do well to smash the subscribe button. Smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content on my channel. And guys, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always watching. I really, really appreciate you guys. So without further ado, let's dive into the design phase. So the first thing we have to do here is to create the new document over here. And the new document panel comes up. And over here, we'll have to slide over to where we'll set up uh, the parameters. Over here, we we'll set the unit in pixels. So we'll be making use of the Instagram portrait frame size of 1080 by 1350 of height. The resolution for this will be set on 300 and need uh, this to be in a good quality. Color mode will be set on RGB because this content will be used on mobile devices and other desktop uh, devices as well. So we can come over here and give the project a name which is called Thanksgiving. Okay. So after you done with that, we'll smash the script button. Okay, guys, here we have the Canva workspace on which we'll be designing on. So the first thing I would like to do here is to drag in the exercise files I'll be using for this tutorial. So over here are the exercise files I'll be using for this tutorial. Okay, do well to check the video description. You'll find the link to this exercise file in the video description, okay? So the first phase of the design has to do with the design composition, okay? And in order for me to create a good composition for this design, I would like to start with my background first. So I'll be using this for my background. So I hit Ctrl T on the keyboard, hold Alt on the keyboard, okay? And scale out like this, left click and drag, and click on the check. So after you're done with this, I would advise you to pick, uh, the shape to over here, you can use the keyboard shortcut of U to select these two. I uh, will be making use of the rectangle for this, okay? Set our fill color to this is okay. And after we are done with that, you can come into our Canva, left click once on your screen and set this as follows, 1080 pixels by 1350 pixels and you click on the OK button. So after that, you'll notice uh, you have a new layer here called Rectangle 1. So I hit Ctrl A on the keyboard. After hitting Ctrl A on the keyboard, pick the Move tool. Make sure the rectangle layer is selected. Left click to align horizontally and vertically to the center. Ctrl D to deselect, okay? Ctrl T to transform, hold Alt, left click and scale it down like this is okay. And you can hold Alt and Shift, okay, on the keyboard, left click and extend uh, this vertically upward this way and check Control Zero to fit to screen to be precise, okay. So I would like to scale this down a little bit like this. I think this is okay. I would like to change the color to a lighter value of yellow. Uh, I think this value is good enough like this. So the next thing I would like to do is to give it a thumb paper texture effect over here. So I pick the lasso tool over here, right click over here where you have this and select the lasso tool, not the polygonal tool. So you select the lasso tool and you make your selection around this edge. So it shouldn't be smooth. So you can make it uh, look a little bit rough. So it's more like a paper texture effect, like a torn paper. So that is what I'm trying to create along this region like this. So slow and steady and you get a nice selection of your rectangle. Okay, slow and steady and you get what you need. Okay, I think this is okay like this. You keep on going, keep on selecting, and uh, 
you take it to the original starting point of your selection, which was here. Okay, after you're done, click on the marks over here and see what happens. This uh the smooth edges have disappeared. So if yours is not looking like this, you can hit Ctrl I on the keyboard to invert your marks. Okay, maybe yours is actually looking like this. You can hit Ctrl I to have it looking like this. So after you are done, I can select these both layers and group them together. So what I have to do is to select the first layer, hold Shift, select the last layer, and hit Ctrl G to actually group it. So I can call this BG by renaming this and call this BG, which stands for the background. So I'm trying to organize my layer as neat as possible. So after I'm done with creating of the background, I will go about selecting this artist image, right click and convert it to a smart object. Converting your layer to a smart object enables you to actually maintain the image quality whenever you scale it out or you scale it up without losing quality. So I hit Ctrl T, scale it down and place it around somewhere like this. Okay, so I'll pick the, uh, the girl's image over here to depict dance and place it around somewhere here so undo right click and convert it to a smart object ctrl t scale it down and place it around somewhere here like this to depict that feel of dance on this region like this okay ctrl a select sorry select the layer of the girl hold shift select the artist hit ctrl g Ctrl A on the keyboard to make a quick selection of your workspace. Pick your move to align this horizontally to the middle. Ctrl D to deselect. And you can call this, uh, uh, what should I call this? Mm, dance. Okay, let me call this dance for an instance. For this, I will select this, scale it down. Okay, rotate the angle. Okay, so you just rotate it and you can place it around somewhere here like this to be precise. So you can scale it down, place it around somewhere here like this. Okay, that is for that. So the next thing we have here is the logo of the church. So I'll hit Ctrl T, scale this. Okay, and place it around here like this, scale it out. For this, I intend to change the fill color. Okay, uh, this is more of like a traditional, uh, the African culture to be precise. So I would like to maintain colors from the design to be precise. I'll use the darker value of this. I think this will help. Okay, and after I'm done, click on the OK. So for me to do this, I had to double click on the layer. Please take note of that. The layer style comes up. I click on the color overlay. And on the color overlay, I set the color by sampling a particular value of color and adjusting the shade of color. That is in terms of that. So after I'm done with that, I will move forward by placing in the text information. So over here, we have the text information for this design so i will start by placing in the name of the church okay i'll be making use of the monserrant font for this come to the character panel over here in the situation where you don't have your character panel over here you can enable it from the windows and enable the character panel okay so on the character panel here i want to adjust uh, the leadings that is the space between the text on the vertical axis Right over here, I'll select the present text. Okay, only the present text and reduce the style to, uh, let me set this on medium to be precise. I think this is actually looking nice like this. Set this to about five is okay. Okay, so pick the move to, okay. The keyboard shortcut to pick your move to is V on the keyboard. So you can place this side by side as this. Okay, so hold control on the keyboard, move your mouse pointer to where you have this on the layer panel. Hold control, left click, you notice your mouse pointer changes to this uh, hand icon over here. 
pick your move to make sure that the uh, the house present text is selected and align this horizontally to the middle control d use your navigation key to align it this way and take them uh, place them side by side each other select the first layer which you select the other layer hit ctrl g to group them and you can call this uh the logo of the church okay and hit ctrl t scale it down and you can actually place it in the middle of your canva okay so you can see the smart guides are on okay that is in terms of that so the next thing we'd like to do is to start placing other set of information for this design such as this okay so for this i'll be making use of a font called federica federica the great regular is the name of the font okay that is in terms of that so i'm making use of a lighter value of black like this increase the size to a good scalable size and make sure it's aligned to the middle okay so select the other line of text okay left click and place it over here i'll be making use of the same font called the federica federica the great that's the name of the font and i would like to close up the space between the text on the vertical axis okay so scale this up properly align this to the middle adjust the leading the space between the text for this i'll select this sample the color from my background here i want to actually work with colors from the background why for the service text here, I like to use the value of red on the background. Okay. For this, I like to adjust the value of orange to a brighter value. Okay. So that is in terms of that. Adjust the track, the leadings again one more time. I think this is okay like this. I still choose to increase the size of this text. Okay. To fill up the space, adjust the leading. Okay, like this is actually looking nice. Control A, pick your move to make sure the layer is selected, and left click to align horizontally, which it has been aligned. Okay, Control T, hold Alt, and you can scale it out like this. Okay. So you can place this this way. Okay. Pick your mouse to to adjust its position like this. Okay. So after we are done, I will like to adjust the position of this by taking this up this way. Okay. Come over here where I have. Uh, the dancer's image select the group hit ctrl t okay for the dancer's image select the group hit ctrl t on the keyboard scale this down like this and take this down this way okay that's for that for now pick the text to okay so i'll come over here and place in the other set of text for this i'll be sampling the same value of red as this okay that's for that adjust ctrl a adjust the leading that is placed between text on the vertical okay after i'm done with that you can choose to leave this like this no i can i can choose to leave this as follows okay adjust the space a little okay so i'm gonna leave this over here like this okay so after i'm done with that pick the text to left click i'm placing this text over here adjust the leadings as well okay for this i would like to change the color for the name of the church to the same feel of red as this as well okay so some make sure actually sample the right value of red 
So after I double check, control and align this around here like this. Okay, that is in terms of that. Adjust it with your nav navigation button. Okay, for this as well, I think I intend to do this as well. Adjust the space like this. Okay, this is actually okay like this. Pick your mouse and come over here and delete this uh, text layer. Okay. I would like to select these uh, uh, layers where I have the venue and the time of the event. Scale them down, respectively. Adjust their position, okay, by making them overlap like this. So after I are done, select the first layer at the top, which you select the last layer, hit Ctrl G, okay, to group them and call this text. Okay, Control T to transform, hold Control and Shift so that you can left click and move this this way. Okay, let me undo this. Control and Shift, move your mouse pointer to where you have this anchor point here to scale this way like this. And after you are done, you can check. Okay, Control T and adjust the position like this. Okay, you can still choose to increase the size or scale it down a little bit. It all depends on what you want. Okay, for this, I'd like to adjust this this way. For this, I intend to increase the size a little bit and place this like this. Okay, so I think, ladies and gentlemen, we are actually almost done. Okay can choose to take this further by adding a fill of color grading by using the color lookups. Come over here on your adjustment, enable the color lookups and choose a color lookup of your choice from the list of color lookups and see the one that actually works uh, perfectly well for you and use it for the project, okay? So that is in terms of that. So you can choose to add the fill of more depth to this project by Coming over here to your background, so we have this rectangle. Create a new layer by hitting Ctrl Shift N on the keyboard. Ctrl Shift N enable you to create a new layer. You can call this noise and set this on soft light. Enable 50% gray and click on the OK. Right click and convert the layer to a smart object. Come to filter noise and add a little feel of noise texture to this. And we are good to go for this. Hit Ctrl T, scale it out and place it around somewhere here like this. Okay, okay. So after you're done, I'd like you to make a duplicate of this layer, this and for this to be precise, these two layers. Select them. Hit Ctrl J to make a duplicate. Okay. So this is how the project is actually looking like right now. Okay. So I think we are good to go. So ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's tutorial video. If you find this tutorial video helpful in one way or the other, do well to give this video a like, do well to smash the like button. If you are new to the channel and you're yet to subscribe, do well to smash the subscribe button, smash the subscribe button right now and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content on my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always watching. If you have any question, any comments, you can leave your questions and comments in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next.